What's up ladies and gents, KG Drifty here, and in today's video I'm going to be giving you guys some Last of Us multiplayer tips and tricks on how to become successful in the multiplayer. And what I mean by successful, I mean by giving you tips on how to be, <clears throat> how to get more kills than deaths. Also um, having having a better game plan and also being a better teamwork and having more, you know, way more game skills towards the game. And as you guys know, the Last of Us multiplayer is a, is a pretty awesome, you know, multiplayer ever since Uncharted. And the Last of Us, it, it has a lot of... A lot of technical bases into it, such as you know being smart about your supplies, being more stealthy, and you know just acting more like it's a like more survival type thing. And it's a it's a really awesome experience. And I'm just uh, like I said, I'm just here to help you guys, you know, become way more successful in the game. You know, start getting more kills, start being the top of your lead, and having a good teamwork shit. So <clears throat> starting with tip number one. Uh, stealth, being stealth and silent. So as you guys know, this is the key thing for the multiplayer because as you guys, if you like run or you know just walk around, you do come up on show up on the radar unless you get like the one of the little perk loadouts. But I, I forgot what it's called. But if I find it out, I will put it in the link description. But <clears throat> Stealth is one of the most main common things that you should do in the game because when you do when you use stealth, it's good because the enemy won't be able to spot you unless he uses listening mode. But like I said, there's a loadout for that too, so they, they won't even be able to see you in listen mode because all you have to do is stand still. But listen mode <clears throat> can can uh, can find people um, going crouching stealthy, but if you know, but a lot of people sometimes don't use the uh, you know don't use listen mode. But to get around like random object, I mean, it's good to like. Run sometime, but like you know, stay crouched the rain many other times. So just run about, you know, for a good quick second, just to get to a place you really want to get to, and then you know, lay low and then hide and then you know, crouch the rest of the way. <clears throat> for, and that leads over to tip number two: listen mode. Um, and like I said, a lot of people do do not use listening mode sometimes. I mean, maybe maybe a lot of people do use it. I mean, I'm one of the people that do use it sometimes. It can come in handy, but sometimes it can't. But listen mode helps you guys out. And then for people who don't know what listening mode is, listening mode basically helps you listen to the footsteps of um, your opponent or player um, as you guys know like when you play story mode you get to see like where the enemies are at like such as clickers the walkers runners all that stuff like that but in multiplayer it's good for like people who want to crouch or hide and also and not only that for people who don't know what listening mode is for also you can see like when people uh, put down bombs um, you can see them through the wall but Listening mode helps you see enemies through the walls to let you know where they're at, like when they're trying to be sneaky and stealthy. So always use listening mode and use that press. I think you hold R1, hold R1 and on the PlayStation 4 or 3, and then uh, I think it's RB or uh, Xbox 360 and Xbox One. But um, but yeah, listening mode comes in comes in handy a lot. So you guys remember use that a lot, and but don't use it too much because sometimes people can use a loadout that that can make it become harder for you to find a bug. So listening mode is one of the most you know recommendable things to use in the um, multiplayer to find you know the enemies etc and stuff like that. Which leads me to my third step. Teamwork ship. Teamwork is one of the most, mainly the most important thing in the multiplayer. What I mean by use teamwork, such as do callouts, do callouts with like randoms or friends and all of that. You know, stick together. Don't stick to get like. You don't have to stick like right on their ass, but just like stick together to the point where if your teammate dies or get wounded and go, go down, you can come here and back them up, get the get the kill, and then revive them right on time. So remember, always have good teamwork ships, and then what I mean, and also it's good to have like that one loadout where you get the. You know, share gifted items. It's always good to like have friends play so you can work as a team. Like also, you can even do this with um, randoms. But do some like you know, have a medic, have like one of your friends be a medic, and then have like a sniper and stuff like that. You know, make it more of like a, a team-based activity. You know, so always use teamwork ship. That's one of the most common things that you should use, and one of the most important. So always use teamwork ship because it will help you out in the long run. Trust me on that. Um, leads me to my fourth tip. Use use your equipment wisely, and what I mean by use your equipment wisely, such as you know use your bombs, Molotovs, shivs, a lot of that. But sometimes shivs are pretty hard to use against enemies, so it's always good to like throw stuns and stuff. But my the most my most common tip to give you guys is always keep your Molotov as your you know like your backup main backup because sometimes. A lot of people just throw their Molotov when they suddenly use it, but I recommend just using your Molotov like when it comes down to like being the last one alive or something like that, and then like you know, like most important occasions. So it's always good to be smart with your supplies and use them wisely as um as the game goes along. But like I said, use your Molotov like when you seriously seriously need it when it comes down to it. So always keep that in mind. So always be more more mindful about what you get and what you collect, and be more mindful about your equipment and you know share it with your teammates and stuff like that. So always keep that in mind. 
and um, which leads me to my last and final step no be persistent be precise that. and you know don't rush things so a lot of people like, love to like you know run out be dumb just run out and try to get the kills and stuff you know be be calm take your take your time have patience and it will come to you always always have that so remember just always you know keep cool okay. lay low and then like have your and have use good teamwork ship and like you know, don't try to be a lone, don't try to be a lone wolf that you know just randomly just go and run out and just be stupid. So remember, always, always be smart and always use that in mind. And don't just like you know try to be a lone wolf and try to do your own thing. Always use teamwork, be precise, take your time, and trust me, you'll do amazingly well in the last one. So I hope these tips help you guys out. Mainly, a lot of people already know this type of stuff, but like I said, it's good for me. It's always good to like you know explain stuff like this to have people who are newcomers that to the multiplayer and just give people tips and stuff on how to become way more successful in the multiplayer. So <clears throat> I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys enjoyed these tips. If you guys find this very extremely useful and helpful, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe for more awesome information and tip videos um i will be coming out with more last of us uh, tip videos in the long run um and stuff like that and also uh, if you did find these tips are helpful share with your friends fans family you know tell your friends about this video and you know maybe you can just pass on my tips to your friends and family and strangers and randoms etc so like i said i hope you guys enjoy more great videos coming soon uh make sure you hit the subscribe button and also like for more awesome video content so that's all i have to say see you guys in my next video peace out y'all